Today, we're gonna achieve a table scroll effect in our Power BI report. Let's get into it. So the way we achieve this quote unquote scroll effect is through the play axis visual, but we're also going to have to create a couple of DAX measures. So let's go ahead and start this report from scratch. The first thing we're gonna do is create our table. Then we have to bring in our fields. For us, that's going to be hearing time, court case, caption, courtroom, and judge. Now the next two fields we need to bring in are DAX functions. Now in order to create this table that cycles through these different pages of values, we need to create a couple of different DAX measures. The first one is an index measure. So by using the rankx function, we're going to index every row in our data set and assign it a value. After we've done that, we need to create an index group DAX measure that takes each of those rows and assigns them together in groups of 19. Now we're choosing the value of 19 just to fit in this table, but you can adjust it to whatever you need to in order to fit them in your table. But to do this, we're just creating a variable index value using the index function we just created and grouping them together using the format and sealing DAX functions assigning the grouping value of 19. Okay, so once we have those created, we can pull those into our table. These are both going to need to be in our table so that we can link them to the play axis visual here in a second, but we don't want them actually visible in the report. So what we're gonna do is hide them. To do that, we're gonna bring up our format pane. We're gonna go to column headers and turn off text wrapping. Then we're gonna go to values and we're gonna do the same thing, turn off text wrapping. This allows us to slide the header over to hide it. And we're just gonna pull the side of each all the way to the end so that they disappear. Once we've done this, we can slide over the other values to give them some nice, comfortable spacing. Now the play axis visual isn't a native function. We're gonna have to get it from the Microsoft Visual Store. So click on these ellipses and then click get more visuals. That's gonna bring up our visual store and we'll type in play access. Here's the play access visual here. So you'll just click it and bring it into your report. Once it's there, it'll show up on the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and insert our play access visual. This is gonna end up hidden in the final report, but for now, I'm just gonna move it up here. So we need to assign the play axis visual a field and the field we're gonna assign it to is the index group column that we created. And because we have that index group filtering in our table, it's going to cycle through the table based on that index group column. But we do have to do a little bit of formatting to make it automatic. So what we'll do here is go to animation settings, auto start so that the play axis visual starts as soon as our report is opened and then we're going to loop it. For the timing, we're gonna do 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. That's a nice comfortable timing to allow people to see what they need to see in their visual before it goes to the next grouping. Also, before I forget, we wanna turn off the totals in our column. So as you can see, it's currently cycling through each of the groupings in our table, making it dynamic. Now, because the report we're building is docket information or publicly displaying information, we're gonna add a date field just to give it some extra features and allow people to see the current day that these values are showing for. So we're gonna enter a card visual and we're going to give it the value hearing date, turn off the category label, gonna reduce the font size to 24 so that it's not so big. Now to make this date dynamic, we wanna add a filter to the page. So again, we're gonna do the hearing date filter and what you're gonna to wanna to do on your report is set this to relative date is in this day and apply filter. Now, unfortunately, the day that I'm creating this, the data that it's linked to, there is no information for today. So for the sake of example, I'm gonna set this to basic filtering and give it a different day so that we can actually see some values. Next, I'm just gonna throw in a title here. And don't worry, we're gonna edit all the formatting in a second here. But for right now, I just wanna get all of our visuals in place. I'm gonna center that 20 point font and we're going to turn off the background. For this, we're also gonna turn off the background and we're gonna bold our callout value. So for our play access button here, we're going to remove the background, remove the title, turn off the caption, and for the colors, we're just gonna give it the same color 
as the background so that it's completely hidden. And then on top of that, we're just gonna throw in a little image. Image style, we're gonna set to fill and then just resize it to our liking. It's just a random image I created on Canva. Next, let's tackle our table visual. Just going to rename some of these captions. Okay, so at this point, we have a fully functional table scrolling visual cycling through each of the index groups that we created and doing so automatically. Now, to make it look nice, we're just gonna apply a little bit of formatting. And there it is, there's our visual. Looks clean, looks nice. Again, scrolling through each of those values. So a good use case for a report like this might be if you need to publicly display information. So imagine you're displaying it on like a TV screen. In this example, it's a city municipal court docket. It's sitting in a courthouse lobby on the monitor so that people who come in can see when their court cases are happening. You could also imagine this in like a doctor's office lobby or maybe in some sort of corporate office up on the screen with information that you want the employees to see. A lot of cool things you could do with this. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.